definitely package, mate. Yeah, OK, Simon, it's coming. As you can see, it's time to feed the hungry animals. You know, catching the fish, I reckon, can be the easy part sometimes. The other part can be the dilemma of how to cook your fish. Now, if I was Simon, then I'd know exactly what I'll be cooking, and that's uh, fish mix and fish. That's it. That's all he eats. But sometimes I like to mix it up a little bit. I like a little bit of variety. <clears throat> so I come up with some ways to cook fish. Now, here is a tricky little way to make a really tasty dish. Now, I'm going to call it I'm going to call it a white wine fish mornay on a bed of rice. So at the moment, I've got my rice cooking over here. Now, I'll grab some milk out of here. And I reckon I'm going to grab some parmesan cheese. So, first of all, you need to make the base. Or they call it the roux. I'm not sure why they call it a roux. But anyway, so we're going to scoop out some butter. A fair chunk of butter. It's important and critical that you run this on low heat. Because if you separate the butter, if the butter turns from butter to oil, you will kill it. This is a very, very tasty little dish. And I remember the first time that I got to have a, have a go of a dish like this. And it was at a restaurant that I was working at at night time. And um, it was a lobster mornay. And um, basically got shown how to do the Mornay sauce. So if you want to put lobster in it, you can put crayfish in it or whatever it is you want to put in it. We're just going to put some fish in it tonight. All right, so that's all melted down. So I'm going to grab a fork. I'm going to use a fork to stir this. And I'm just going to sprinkle some flour. So a little bit at a time like that. So that's how much I've put in need to stir that so you don't get the lumps in it. Now I'm going to grab some long life uh, cream here. So we're going to chuck that in. Stirring again. Now I'm going to add some milk in. Nice and steady. The more you stir it, the better it becomes. And it takes all the lumps out. Alright, we're ready to go now. So what I'm going to do now is now that that's all thickened up, and the milk is warmed up, I'm going to start to add my ingredients now. So I'm going to stick some parmesan cheese in. I've got a little bit of white wine here, so I'm going to chuck that in. And I'm going to put... No, that'll do. About that much in. Whatever's left in the bottle. See what it tastes like. Needs a bit of salt. So I'm putting the raw fish in, no bones, because you don't want to be hooking into this with bones, preferably using uh, barramundi, coral trout, stuff like that. So we whack that in, and now it's just a matter of mixing that through under heat. You've got to have it with a bit of rice. It's a very, very rich dish, so all right, I think. That is now ready to serve up. So let's get it on a plate and uh, give it a taste, I guess. All right, I better call Simon over. Simon, where are you, mate? This tucker's ready, eh? Bit of that going on top. Smells all right, mate. Smells all right. All right. There you go, mate. Pork for you. Give that a whirl. See what you think. I know you like your fish in a bag or whatever you want to fish mix, bag, fish. You know the only reason I come away with you is you're cooking, don't you? Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> that's what can I say? Crap. You've outdone yourself again, mate. Thanks, mate. Thank you. All right, well, I'm going to cook some. I'm going to serve something up well, for myself because I'm hungry as well. There you go, folks. Ah, cooking in the bush.